Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the other shoe has dropped uh, with Netflix. Shocker. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. We said yesterday that we had to wonder if Netflix wasn't going to pull back on some of its animated content because of the expense. And of course, Netflix uh, lost a bunch of subscribers last quarter. They're projecting to lose millions of subscribers in Q2. Their stock has dropped off a cliff. Yep. And heads are rolling in the animation division at Netflix, which is weird because they spent a ton of money to ramp up animation. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not going well, but there are actually accusations of the data being staged. No. They would never... Shira. Oh, sorry. Staged. They would never master the universe revelation. <coughs> no, no, not ever. Staged data, fake views. Who knows? Who knows what, what is actually going on at Netflix, but people are getting fired. Uh, series are being canceled. Bone is getting canceled, which you'd think if there were a, a safe bet to do an animated series, it would be something like Bone which is a perennial favorite, but Bone is getting axed. Yeah, so. but so far they haven't, they, they've axed the Bone, but not Nimona. That we know of. Um, right. I think I think this is the very beginning of a lot of cutbacks at Netflix. And again, animation is very expensive. Live action, reality TV, that kind of stuff. They can be, uh, it can be done much, much cheaper. Um, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll pull the plug on the One Piece uh, adaptation. Well, they still can't. They won't. Um, Those um, are live action ones. So they're uh, gonna they'll, they'll they'll double down on that stupidity. Anyway, let's let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred and sixty four thousand subs. Yay! Thank you for the support. We do talk a lot about the animation industry, uh, working in and around animation, having friends that work in animation, and Netflix was the hottest game in town for uh, the last couple of years. Anyway. They were actually pulling people away from Disney and pulling people away from other other major studios. And uh, now the bottom seems to be falling out. And uh, nobody wants to be a bottom. Well, some people like to be a bottom. Uh, it depends on the day. Sometimes I like to be the bottom. Depends. So, so this is coming from The Wrap. Before we get into this article, and it, it, it's pretty lengthy, uh, Netflix stock is still down 37%. It's, yeah, it went down since yesterday. Yeah, it has. And there is a long tail on this thing because now Disney and Roku stock is also dropping because people are like, oh, shit, if Netflix is taking a hit, they're all going to take a hit. I just think it's funny because Disney and the, and like Disney and, like, uh, you know, HBO and all that, they wanted to be part of the streaming, the big streaming giant they wanted to cut. But by cutting and cutting and cutting, it dropped Netflix. And then since it dropped Netflix, now they're all getting, you know, dropped. Yeah, because I think I think they're starting to realize there's not enough room for 50 gajillion different streaming services. Well, also, I think Disney has an issue. People are just canceling Disney Plus as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to say that, you know, because I, I know people are canceling Disney Plus. So I'm sure that's not helping either. Anyway, this is coming from The Wrap. Netflix animation erased. Executives fired. Shows canceled. And accusations of staged data. Ooh, shocker. Yep. Not really. Yeah, not really. Creators migrated to the streamer because of unprecedented creative freedom. Now they're yeah. facing a very different reality. They can what bastardize whatever they wanted. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get more Masters of the Universe revelation. Oh, damn. I don't think we're going to. Oh, that just makes me so happy. All right, so the uh, the Netflix director of creative leadership, I think it's Phil, Phil Rinda, Phil Rinda um, was let go this week along with several of his staff. The rap can exclusively report and Netflix has confirmed. Now they they went oh, snap. they bought a whole complex and everything for Netflix animation. Just like two years ago, they were bragging about how much money they were spending on animation, and they just got rid of the boss. And several people. And several people. So what the Ooh. hell is going on over there? Yeah, good question. Well, you know, we've seen some of their, their wonderful decisions as of late and how well that has gone. Yep. According to several creators who spoke to The Wrap, the kids and family space at Netflix Animation has changed. Series that benefited from great word of mouth and critical praise. There you have it. Critical praise. You know, the right media blog said that it was, you know, it was stunning and brave and groundbreaking. And even though the audiences didn't care. Yep. They're uh, not being renewed. And several high profile projects have been unceremoniously canceled, including Bone, which they've tried for years to get some kind of animated adaptation of a bone off the ground. And look, if you can't, if you can't adapt bone, I mean, they did Hilda and Hilda is not nearly as well known as, as bone and Hilda was actually very good, 
but Bone is like money in the bank, right? It's it's a pretty well known property. It's 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 had a long shelf life. Literally, it sells. It still sells very very well. And if you can't get that right, you know. So wait, they'll like, cancel Bone, but they haven't announced they've canceled Nimona. That's true. Yes. So I'm just like. Wait, because what wrong type of person? I mean, I don't know. Because because she read it so well. Wink, wink. Did it? <laughs> you know? Did it? Cause, exactly. Because yeah, they're like the data was staged. Uh, Netflix, which saw its stock plummet more than thirty percent after revealing a subscriber revenue loss during the first quarter, isn't just in trouble on Wall Street. It's facing complications in Toontown. Uh, Rinda's firing was perhaps an inevitable end to a deeply chaotic period for Netflix animation. I thought things were fine. I yeah, thought... particularly kids and family, which is what they li- they put She-Ra and uh, Masters of the Universe under. Yep. Um, they saw a boom of talent and creativity give way to corporate pressure, mixed messages, and accusations of staged data. Whoa, whoa, they're trying to argue that they saw a boom of talent, but they had to, to, to bend the knee to corporate pressure, which I'm sure that's in, in part true. Um, but we have things like, you know, which He-Man, which I'm pretty sure was mandates by Netflix is what ruined He-Man. Yeah. They went through and they were talking about, you know, all the creative freedom they had at Netflix. And it's easy to be, uh, you know, to give creative freedom when the money is flowing like water, right? And they were under the impression that like, you know, Netflix is going to keep going up and up and up and up and up. And uh, there was there was no down. But there was a joke. It's been a running joke that anybody can get anything greenlit at Netflix. Yeah, well, this is ending. Right. This, this is ending. Uh, now you're seeing fewer creator-driven projects. New series aren't as exciting as they once were. Animators have left the studio. Uh, decamping to old standbys like Cartoon Network. Oh, good luck with that. With uh, David Zaslav in charge, good mm-hmm. luck with that, too. Uh, Disney and Nickelodeon or Apple TV Plus and Amazon. Uh, Netflix's focus has shifted. Probably, yeah, no shit. probably because they're looking at the numbers and they're like, we don't have any like major hits. Like, you know, they've got Troll Hunters, but that was a DreamWorks thing. And DreamWorks could take their bowl and they could go to Peacock at any point in time, but they haven't yeah. started to do that, you know, do it already. I think it's interesting here they're talking about groundbreaking animated series like, you know, uh, Gravity Falls and Adventure Time because uh, he, Rinda was on those. Yeah, those were good shows. They were They were their own thing. Yeah. They were good shows with had messages, but they weren't like the ridiculous mandated shows that we're seeing today. And they were they, they were they were popular because they re- resonated with a lot of people. And now you've like you keep narrowing that down to like you're pandering to a small group of adults. I mean, I'm sorry, family and children, <laughs> wink. And yeah, you right. wonder why stuff doesn't do well. Yeah, they even canceled uh, Lauren Faust's new show, Toil and Trouble. I mean, if if you had they're going to cancel Lauren Faust, but they aren't canceling the Mona. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, Roald Dahl, of course, you know, Netflix bought his library. They had a, an adaptation. They uh, canceled that. Bone, again, Bone and Lauren Faust are good bets, and they they canceled both of those projects. Um, they said that... Uh, Boss Baby, Boss Baby is, is their, well. their, me- their metric, their basis for metric. How, how does everything compare to Boss Baby? Wow, that's great with the uh, uh, Alec Baldwin. So they're trying to say they're going to. So now they're going to double down on established IP, which means that they might then they might go back to things like Shira and shit, which is yeah, Shira and shit. That's, that's basically what it was, um, because that's like oh, it's a, it's an established IP, but you don't even handle those properly. Ah, right. So they're talking about Elizabeth Edo, whose deeply brilliant City of Ghosts was recently nominated for a Peabody. Currently sports a one hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, reiterated, as many did, how much they enjoyed working uh, with both of the executive teams at Netflix and their marketing. Uh, ironically, the marketing is not very good because I've, I've never heard of City of Ghosts. And I I, I think I might have once. I, I think I heard <laughs> about like, it, but I didn't see it's it. It's like I think in passing, like there's this thing called City of Ghosts. Like, oh, okay. What is right. that? Yeah. What is that? Um, of course, I'm still behind on a lot of other stuff. But... Here, just talk about the marketing department. Yeah, because the marketing department around Netflix stuff has been so great. Um, suggests that Netflix 360 feedback culture um, trumpets full transparency as one of its core tenants went out the window when the show was threatened with cancellation. People get complained with being presented with staged data meant to prove the point that Netflix has to squash con- co- squash conversation around. So their staged data is supposed to be the, the fake data that they're giving them to say that they ha- they can't promote it. Yeah, what they should have gotten for what they spent on the show. 
Netflix confirms their decisions are made using data, which takes into account viewing versus cost. Okay, I don't think that's squash data. I think that's probably actual data. You just didn't want to hear it. Yeah, and this is this is what led to Cowboy Bebop being canceled as quickly as it was canceled. So this creator's argument is, well, there's different shows that are being canceled because the data that was obviously fake says that people don't like my show. So it says creators have described the processes uh, as uh, manipulative. Uh, one producer sent the data back, asked questions, and received a separate Different set of data that still reinforced Netflix's position. Uh, Edo was left wondering, well, are you going to make more or not? Netflix did not. Uh, now they're over at Apple. Wait a minute. But here's the thing. They didn't, they, of course, they're going to keep presenting it from their position. But if Netflix is giving you data and they don't want to renew something because it's not making money, it doesn't matter what the data says. It's not making them money. They're not getting viewers, not getting subscribers off of it. Um, I don't think that they're making that up just to get you know rid of you. I, I think what's going on is Netflix is is brutal and it's going to be worse now. You hurt my feelings. Well, this is kind of what happened with Infinity Train too. Like, you know, a big part, of, and I know people that work in animation current year don't like to hear it, but a, a big part of it, the marketing machine is the merchandise. And if your show is not something that can be merchandised. They, they talk, mention that later on. Yeah, here, they yeah. talk about that. It's like, then that, that always has offset the cost of animation. You have to, you know, and in Japan, a lot of times with anime series, they sit down with the toy people and the video game people and the manga people, and they're like, okay, we're going to spend millions and millions of dollars on this show, but here's how we're going to make it back through toys and games and Well, stuff. here's the thing, too. Like, they have a Boss Baby, which skews younger, and you're comparing it to things like Boss Baby, which has toys, but like Coco Melon and things like that, which are doing so well. And if the kids didn't already know about the show, they do after they go to Walmart – yeah. And that's why, you know, these people complain, but it's like, you know, the 80s, 80s made shows to sell toys. Yeah, they did, because that's what kids knew. Kids watched the show when they saw the toys. That's what they're doing with places like things like Boss Baby, Coco Melon. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. I don't have little kids anymore, so I'm not, off the top of my head, I can't think of all the different ones. There's like Gabby something. That's what they're doing. And and it's smart, and that's what's making it stick. So that's what Netflix probably wants to, to you know, go that way, like everybody else is. Because it's great to have creative, award-winning, critically acclaimed stuff, and th that should exist. But what happens is that's not the, the bread and butter of places like Netflix. And now they're losing money, so they're going to have to get damn picky. They're going to pick what makes money. Yeah. Um, they talk about the promotion, that Netflix doesn't oh, yeah. promote shows. Now, we know this happened with uh, Tuka and Birdie, and actually, yeah. Netflix – canceled it and uh most people didn't even know the show was a thing and then it got picked up by by adult swim but uh you know that's not even a safe bet now because david zaslav is known he's for cutting he's cutting and they're gonna look at and look at what cartoon network is pivoting to they're they're doing more uh you know bat wheels or whatever like stuff yeah. they know they can make toys of like batman and cars together that's gonna sell toys they're, they're, yeah it's, it's almost like it's the 80s again it's almost like it's the oh, 80s oh shit Oh shit! And even even shows that are based on, you know, uh, toy franchises like you know Noel Stevenson's Shira, um, they didn't bring the toys out until the tail end of the show. Now they fixed that with with Revelation. They actually had the toys out before, right? And they did sell until people watched the show and they're like, "Wow!" Now they're is, sitting on the shelves. Now they're sitting on the shelves. Um, real quick, uh, as a side note, take a shot every time we say Shira or He Man, you'd be dead about twenty minutes ago. <laughs> They talk about this. So they're like, yeah, you know, Netflix shows don't get the the merchandise tie-ins. Uh, there's no City of Ghosts Happy Meal. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated. There's no word of mouth because there's so much shit on Netflix that, like... Yeah, it, the kids don't talk to each other like that. No. The ones that, the ones that get word of mouth are the ones that are, I'm sorry, kids shows in quotes that are actually, like, shows for, like, you know, late teens and early mm -hmm. 20-somethings. To work out their, their you know, their the showrunners can work out their problems. But I remember this coming up when they canceled Infinity Train, which I actually thought was a pretty good show. Um, but they were like, there's no merchandise for it. And it's a show that's basically supposedly for kids, but it's actually for young adults. And uh, Steven Universe, too. They tried to merchandise Steven Universe and the stuff was on clearance almost immediately mm -hmm. because the audience for Steven Universe doesn't buy toys. Here's a thought. If you want to pitch shows... And you want to pitch shows to these different networks. If you can find a way to have a tie-in that makes them money on the side, then you're going to be much – you're probably more likely to get through. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's it's interesting. You know, they were talking about uh, Centaur World, which is weird. I haven't watched I've Centaur. I've never heard of it. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's weird. Uh, I've seen I've seen clips. I haven't watched the show yet, but it's it's pretty weird. Um, 
they said that uh, they were able to tell the story they wanted to over the course of the episodes. Um, if you want more, we can do that. Instead, the team was presented with data, but not giving context for what the data means to Netflix. It seems Centaur World wouldn't go beyond its initial commitment. So Centaur World was also canceled. Now, what's interesting, though, is, you know, these people aren't used to getting Is this data. Centaur World in the corner up here? Yeah, it's Centaur that World. I can see why it's canceled. Yeah. Um, they're not used to getting the the facts like this i think a lot of times you know we don't cartoon, want to hear facts facts aren't your friend <laughs> right at cartoon network and nickelodeon i think the numbers have been hidden from them netflix is basically it almost sounds like youtube it's like it's either your shit gets views or it doesn't get views right it's not enough to get picked up you have to actually perform yeah yeah and that's that's kind of like you know publishing uh people get a pass in publishing i mean there are so many cartoonists that put books out that don't sell very well they don't even earn out their advances and they get more yeah deals. i never understood that and then they bra they're like bragging about it and it's just like there's limited slots every year is limited slots and right off the get-go two-thirds are already taken by people who've already had books and and of those that that some of them have never even earned out it's like why would you keep giving them book deals um why don't you just like take those slots and give it to somebody else who may earn out so I think I think Netflix is going to, at least in animation, it's going to have to be a meritocracy. But what's going to happen is, unfortunately, you know, that that joke that they'll green light anything, that's not going to be the case anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it's they're going to be very picky about what they green you light. You've got to make a, one heck of a case for it. Yeah. And I think they might even look at, have you been successful on other platforms? You know, um, they might green light your stuff based on like, okay, your comic book sold really well. But that's not even an indicator. Because Bone. Because Bone. Bone has sold very, very well over the years. So, I love Bone with Toy. With Will it toy? Bone with Toy. Okay, but I'm just saying that's what they're gonna look at. Yeah, Bones do toy. Anyway, Will it toy is what they're gonna look at. I don't know what kind of toy, but yeah, it, it's, that's what they're. I mean, honestly, I think that Will it Will it, can we market this in other verticals? Yeah, is that, what they're gonna look at. That's exactly what they're gonna look at. But uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. This is this is interesting. So yeah, I would not hold your breath for more He Man. Uh, if, if there is more He-Man or at least Revelation, I think it would be a Mattel thing. Mattel beep. And that's just the thing. Don't Mattel. <laughs> just, just that's just you're scrapping it and doing it again and doing it right. Don't. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.